franchise with limited period until October 31, 2020, within which both the House of Representatives and the Senate will hear the issues being raised for and against the renewal and assess with complete impartiality and fairness whether or not the network shall be granted a franchise for another 25 years. We cannot, in good conscience, sweep the accusation under the rug and proceed as if nothing happened. As we have always promised, these hearings will be fair, impartial, and above all, thorough. Again, mga kababayan, ang issue po ng Kongreso, timing lang po at fairness. Timing po. I was not willing to sacrifice the budget, the relief sa taal, the relief that was going on sa tinamaan po ng mga um, lindol sa, sa Mindanao. I was not willing to sacrifice po yung much-needed taxes na it ends up we needed it much more than we thought before because of this COVID-19. No? So timing and also fairness. Di ba? Hindi naman po pwede pong i-grant o wag i-grant nang hindi natin pinapakinggan lahat. Whatever the outcome of these hearings will be, there will be reforms. There must be not just a new but a better normal. Not only for ABS-CBN but for the entire media industry. And not only for the media but for us public servants. Kahit po dito tayo sa Kongreso, there has to be reforms. Crisis brings out the best and worst in people. But as Filipinos, I ask each one of you, can't we talk about what we believe in without bringing others down? Kailangan ba natin mag-insultuhan? Kailangan ba natin mag-alaskahan? Kailangan ba natin tawagin ang ibang tao na tanga o bobo? Can't we lift each other up with, our, with and in our debates? At this time of great peril when the whole world is on the brink, it is really too much to ask that we hold off on the discussion of this issue and issues that are divisive, at least until we're able to take care of each other. So let me make it clear. Baka sabihin ng iba, eh, pagkatapos mong sabihin XYZ about many people, sabihin mo, let's lift each other up. No, I